What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we're back with some brand new WWE action figure news. It seems like the news went kind of silent, right? Right after San Diego Comic Con. It's kind of the dead spot because we just found out so many different things that, you know, we had a little space there. But we had so much product, so much AEW and WWE action figures coming our way. If you guys missed out on the last 15 reviews or so, I mean, so much stuff came out and has been pumped out and being delivered to all over the country, all over the world, so spontaneously. Like, it was just coming and coming, and it finally has cooled off a little bit here. May have some more stuff on the way, but today we do have some brand new WWE action figure news and some stuff that we were speculating at San Diego Comic-Con that I'm really excited to get into. So, let's go ahead and dive into it, guys. As you guys know, the most recent WWE Ultimate Edition series that we got was Series 14, and Series 14 did include Roman Reigns and Jeff Hardy, and it was after Series 13 that was Hulk Hogan and Mr. T. Those are actually hitting retail right now. I found quite a few of the Hulk Hogan. Still haven't found Mr. T. Need to get my men on card set of Mr. T, but I do have my Hulk Hogan there, but we found that. That was Series 13. In Series 14, we did have Roman Reigns and Jeff Hardy. We did all the reviews of those figures. If you guys missed out on the reviews of Roman Reigns and Jeff Hardy, definitely go check that out. But Series 14 was the most recent series that we had in hand, and then we saw at San Diego Comic-Con, we had Ultimate Edition Series 15 featuring Brock Lesnar and Ultimate Warrior, the re-release of the Defining Moments figure. Everybody was really, really excited for it. Everybody's really ready to go with that one. I'm imagining it would come in very soon, right? Because we already had images of it. We know that the Brock Lesnar has the hip displacement articulation. So we do know what Ultimate Edition Series 15 is. We also know that at Comic-Con, we also got revealed to us the first ever, and a figure that I am so looking forward to. It's probably the figure I'm most looking forward to. I think it was number one in my countdown of my top ten most wanted figures from San Diego Comic-Con 2022. It was the AJ Styles Ultimate Edition figure that we got shown off. And it was also announced to us that this AJ Styles Ultimate Edition would be a part of WWE Ultimate Edition Series number 16. Well, the only mystery that was from San Diego Comic-Con, or at least from this series at least, one of the mysteries from San Diego Comic-Con, was what is the other figure? What's the other figure in this set featuring AJ Styles in the Ultimate Edition Series number 16? Well, today, Brad, we do have the news for you, and we do have the other half of Ultimate Edition Series number 16, and we're going to dive into it right now. So, Along with AJ Styles, a lot of people have been wondering, is it going to be a current talent? Is it going to be a Legends talent? Well, Brad, I'm here to report that apparently it is going to be a Legends figure, and it is going to be Razor Ramon. Razor Ramon is going to be the other half of AJ Styles' set of the WWE Ultimate Edition Series number 16. Very, very exciting stuff. I have zero clue as to what the actual attire is going to be. I have zero ideas on what that could be. You know, there's tons of different things they could do. You know, maybe they're going to redo the Defining Moments figure again. Maybe they'll redo the purple. They could update that figure a hell of a lot more. You know, maybe they'll, may, maybe they're they going to be doing that. I could see them doing that. I think another attire that they could possibly do for Razor for this Ultimate Edition figure could be his WrestleMania 10 gear. He could, uh, you know, we could get an, a Black Intercontinental Championship, multiple heads there. I honestly, I think that'd be kind of a boring attire. You know, WrestleMania 10 is is very iconic, but I don't think it's like the best attire that you could use. And you know, I, I think I'd rather see the purple gear re released to be honest with you. But maybe other people want to see that purple gear revisited, or maybe they do want a new gear. I don't know. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below. You also know that we are getting the Target exclusive three pack, which is featuring the green gear, you know, with the raw anniversary pack, and it's got Undertaker and 123 Kid and Razor Ramon in there. Maybe that will be something that they try to visit. I am not entirely sure. So we know it's definitely. Definitely not going to be the green gear. I don't think it would make sense to do the green gear, but I heard a lot of people say they would love to see that Defining Moments Razor Ramon be released. I remember when that was, thing was just rotting at my Kmart. There was like seven of them there for years and years, and then that Kmart finally shut down, and I think they clearanced those guys out. They were very cheap. I want to say they were down to like five bucks a piece. Nobody wanted those razors, and of course, all these years later... I bet people would snag those up in a heartbeat. That's just kind of way, the way of the world, the way of the game sometimes. But I think that Razor Ramon is a great addition right here. Uh, would you guys rather see a Razor Ramon or a Scott Hall? Word that I see now is going to be Razor Ramon, but... I guess anything's possible to change, man. You know, all the news is always subject to change, but this is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that it is going to be Razor Ramon, and I don't know what the gear could be. I, I personally, you know, I don't really have a dog in the fight, you know, if I had to pick it my way. I don't know. I, I'd probably pick something we haven't seen before. Of course, we do have the blue gear. We have the green gear coming soon. We saw the purple gear. WrestleMania 10, again, like I said, would be pretty cool. But I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think down in the comment section below, but what do you think of Ultimate Edition Series number 16? Do you like it? Do you like that they're having a 
current guy and a flashback guy, similar to what we saw way back when in the first couple series featuring, you know, Ronda Rousey, Ultimate Warrior, and then they went Bret Hart and Shinsuke. I kind of like that because I want to see, you know, I, I want to see in Ultimate Edition Series 17, I hope that it's a Seth Rollins is the other talent in that wave because we don't know what the other half of the wave is for Ultimate Edition Series 17 featuring Jeff Jarrett. I would like to see a Seth Rollins on the other side of that. We know that we have the Legends Ultimate Edition Macho Man coming to Target very soon. It should be hitting any day now. We also have the Legends Bret Hart Ultimate Edition coming soon, and then we have the Legends Legends Rock figure coming to Target soon with the Ultimate Edition. So, I personally would like to see Seth Rollins on the other side of the 17, but AJ Styles and Razor Ramon are going to be the ones in Series 16, which is huge news. I know a lot of people are going to be really, really excited about that, and I would love to know down below if you guys are going to be filling that gear or you're, are you going to be filling that set, you're not filling that set. I think it's nice because it touches on both markets. You have your current day fans or your younger fans are going to want that AJ Styles, and then your older generations are going to want that Razor Ramon and that, that nice touch right there. But I could see this coming with a toothpick in in the mouth a toothpick out of the mouth we'll probably get some gold chains you know nice little torso there cool elbow pads i mean we, we we should be getting the bells and whistles on this razor ramon i think an intercontinental championship is there i think that's absolutely a thing i think if i actually the more i think about it, i think the one that i would like to see would be maybe like a like a like a gold attire like the you know the shiny gold gear or something like that would be really really bright but I don't know, you know, I don't I don't have a dog in the fight. Like I said, any Scott Hall will be cool, any Razor Ramon will be cool, so just give me that and I'll be all for it, but let me know what you guys think of Ultimate Edition 16 down in the comment section below. Are you excited for it? You think it's bummerific? Let me know down below, but at least you do get both sides of the coin, you know, you do get to both sides of the coin. Current day collectors should be good, older collectors should be good, but I, I, I think I'd want Gold Gear Razor. I think that's where I'm going to uh, put my vote in. Anyways, man, let me know your thoughts down on Ultimate Edition Series number 16 down in the comment section below. I'm getting out of here, man. Subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. Let's get into a random shout out before we get out of here. Kind of wild that we have news after having so many reviews. Just Jesus, man. We've had so many different reviews to do that we finally have gotten through here. But huge shout out to Man With A Mic who says, from a fellow Steelers fan and someone in attendance for the show, I absolutely love it. Talking about our Britt Baker from yesterday. A lot of people did not give a damn about the Britt Baker, man. A lot of you guys did not watch the Britt Baker review. So if you guys would go check that out, find out what that figure is all about, I'd greatly appreciate it. Supreme Editions have looked pretty damn good so far, man. Really enjoying them. Cannot wait for Series 2 with Kenny Omega and Malachi Black. That'll be excellent. But huge shout out to Man With A Mic. I'm getting out of here, man. Subscribe to the channel. And don't cross the line. You cross